I'm going to be showing you today is how to get a version of CC Miner uh, working on the M1 mining Varus. Uh, very, very simply. This is a super easy way of getting it to work. Um, but we're going to come to this link. It's a version of CC Miner built for iOS. And we're just going to grab this version right here. And we're going to grab that IPA file. Um, I've already downloaded it, so that's the second one. Um, from there, we're going to come over to this link. It's Play Cover, and it is a tool for running these IPA files on the Mac natively. Uh, we're just going to grab the latest version. Um, and what we're going to go ahead and do here is just install it. Super easy. Drag it to your Applications folder. From there, we should be able to just open it right up. And yes, we're going to open it. Um, I'm going to ignore that. Um, and then from here, you can import IPA. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our downloads and just grab that Varus.IPA that we had downloaded previously. And right here, you see Varus CC Miner. If you go ahead and open that up, you're going to get a nice little uh, graphical user interface. Um, and we can expand this window out. And then what you can do is go ahead and put in your pool URL. Uh, it defaults to luck pool, which is what I'm going to be sticking with. Uh, you can then put in your wallet address. This field is for the name of your device, what the pool is going to see it as. Uh, this fourth field is the password for the pool. Most of them default to X. Um, and then this last one is for the number of threads that you're going to be running on the device. Uh, because this is an 8-core M1, I'm just going to keep it at 8. And then we'll just go ahead and hit Start. Um, and then what you'll see is we'll start seeing the hash rate come in. And, you know, as time goes on, um, I'll slowly start to see that hash rate increase. It'll, it'll start pretty slow. We'll see that here. And so I sped up this part of the video, but you can see that we're roughly getting about 7.8 mega hash a second, um, which probably isn't the most efficient that we could get with this chip, but this is one of the easiest ways of setting this up. So I hope this helps.